What's going on with y'all boys, man? It's your boy Bailey. I'm back with yet another video. And I'm gonna jump straight into this one. I'm gonna keep it nice, short, simple, and sweet. I know y'all have been probably wondering and probably not watching my last couple videos just because they've been a little bit different. A lot of sit down, a lot of talk, a lot of just updating my life, my mental, trying to get y'all inspired, trying to motivate y'all. And I know y'all are here for just probably strictly car content, but hey, I'm out here, I'm in Florida. If y'all boys can see a little sneak peek into my next video, I'm in Destin, Florida. So I'm kind of working with what I got and I'm gonna upload this tonight. So y'all be seeing this video within like 24 hours of me recording it. But I just wanna update y'all boys uh, where I'm at, what I've been doing, why my content is what it is. I know it's a lot different than what y'all boys are used to and that's okay. There's uh, nothing wrong with change and sometimes you gotta go through uh, couple bits of different times in life where you may feel lost or you may not know what you're talking about or you may be kind of just trying to figure life out and that's kind of what I'm in the process of I'm in I'm in the kind of rebuilding stage of life I'm in the process of trying to grow and just be myself and learn how to be myself learn how to make content when what I usually make isn't there you know you have to learn how to adapt to the times learn how to you know be different and you got to think about it as will you still be able to have viewers if you didn't have the cars if you weren't able to walk talk you know are y'all boys still gonna watch so that's kind of been my task with this whole YouTube channel is trying to slowly kind of shift over to where when I am driving my cars I can sit there and talk and still keep y'all boys able to click the video y'all still want to watch it and that's kind of my goal in my whole life is just uh, I want y'all boys to rock with me, truly. And I appreciate all my love in the comments. I appreciate everybody who supports your boy. I support every one of y'all's ideas, and y'all really changed my life. We're on the road to 10K, but let's hurry up and get into this video so I stop yapping and make sure y'all boys want to keep watching your boy because I can't sell my bag before 10K. Like, we can't do that. This video is pretty much just going to be a little update of where my Z's been, what my z is doing because i wasn't expecting but maybe a month or so down without the z and i know it's kind of turned into almost two months now um if you are new to the channel i did wreck my zl1 one elite it's a 2020 just put wheels on it you know just starting to kind of grow my channel and this is kind of where i'm at but you know along the path you run into accidents and things happen you learn from your mistakes and you grow as a person so I'm kind of in that growth stage I'm in that weird situation where I wrecked and that's my content and I got to figure out how to keep y'all boys interested so I've been doing a little bit of talking motivating thinking I'm on vacation as y'all boys can see and uh, I've kind of needed this vacation because sometimes it gets hard I get in my mental sometimes about my views um, I'm trying to update y'all and I want to give y'all fresh content over and over so I don't want to throw old videos up at y'all that are going to be chronologically just y'all boys are going to be chronologically confused and I'm trying to do better now to make a video upload it take my time and yeah the whole night I'm just trying to grow as a person and you have to do that and I believe me wrecking my car I've grown as a person you learn from your mistakes you know what to do and what not to do and now I'm learning how to talk it's all I got. It's just me and the camera. No car right now. But thankfully, it's almost been two months since the Z has been wrecked. Um, I'm going to be making videos once the Z is back so y'all can see it. I'm going to be going over how much it cost, everything we did to the Z, and maybe we'll get some goodies for the Z soon, like some headers or who knows what's going to be coming to the Z shortly after because I know y'all boys want to see that. And that was the next step for the Z was to get headers. And unfortunately, we ran into what we did, but... We're almost through it. We've got probably just a couple more days to the Z is back. I'm on vacation. I've been here since last Sunday, and it's almost Friday. Or I've been here since, like, last Friday. I'm not going to lie. And we leave tomorrow. So by the time y'all see this video, I'll probably be back at home trying to get my Z right. It'll be the weekend, so I'll have Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Pretty much a Saturday, Sunday to kind of figure out, hope the Z's back. Um, the last update I did get on the Z was that my bumper... My passenger right fender, all my parts are in. They got painted, but we ran into a problem, of course, with the paint. My paint has like six different options. So, and it being fresh paint and the paint being a couple years old, obviously the sun and the weather is gonna make it look a little bit different. So we had to blend the right passenger door and the front left fender 
that wasn't wrecked and that way everything like the bumper and the fender flow into the passenger door and the bumper flows into the driver front fender so that just got dropped off last night my bumper my fender just got picked up my parts like my door my fender should have just got dropped off to get um painted and kind of blended to match everything just so my car don't look like 50 shades of red don't want to do that but that is pretty much where the z is with up to date with y'all boys you know i've been trying to be transparent through this tell y'all up to date i don't really know what's happening i haven't really seen the videos or i haven't really seen the z since the videos i've dropped where y'all boys saw jacob see it my boys see it i kind of update y'all when parts came in but i haven't seen it since the last video i've dropped which was genuinely probably like a month ago so i don't know what disease looking like i'm excited i know it's running i'm gonna give y'all boys a sneak peek of that because the z is back we did upgrade the radiator on it and we did put a 160 thermostat so the car should be running a little bit colder and i probably should pick up around maybe probably 50 to a little less horsepower just by making the car run colder and if y'all boys see right here, this is the Z. And that bit is running, bro. Let me show y'all that one more time because I haven't really watched that video myself either and I've missed this car, bro. And like, I know it sounds crazy. It's like, I'm just tired of driving the Ranger and me wrecking this car has truly just made me stand back and be grateful. I'm probably gonna get in this car and not even go over like 45 big grandpa driver type of type of video, but here y'all boys go. Here is the Z one more time. That bit running, but yeah, man. So we ran into a lot of problems like clips for the bumper and the splitter to clip in, didn't really clip in all the way and they didn't send enough and some of them were broke. So we had to order a bunch of new clips that everything pretty much takes a week to get in. So if something doesn't come in when it's supposed to, you got to order like one thing and it takes another week and then if they mess four things up right there you're already a month behind so it's been kind of a stroke it's been kind of a learning process for me and the unfortunately about these cars is the more expensive they get the more limited they are the less parts they make because they cost more and yeah everything just takes a little bit more time it's not like a regular car where they probably just keep a lot of parts on stock you can just go to the dealership and get them there or they might have them in stock or they're right down the road in a warehouse and can ship them to you so a lot of these were like chevrolet having to make them and ship them and yeah it's just been a long ride and i'm appreciative for everybody who's been here along the journey um but the z is almost back hopefully by the time i get back update y'all boys with everything once it's back of course i'm gonna be going harder than ever i know y'all boys have uh been waiting for that y'all have been excited for the z to come back and i'm genuinely just the most appreciative of everybody who has stuck through this process i know my um videos have been all over the place like i'm just trying to motivate inspire I tell y'all boys everything's okay and that's kind of what i'm on and i've always kind of wanted to be able to change my channel up to be able to just sit here and talk and get just as many views as I would with a car just because I'm not really a big materialistic money person I kind of just do this because this is what I've enjoyed it's always weird because like my mom and some other people in my family have always had cameras and it's funny how they have all these cameras and I grow up and I like videoing and just showing my life and I think it's one of the coolest things about my life is just being able to record and I've being able to share my story and being able to show y'all like a normal person like you and I can do anything because for like a lot of people and for even myself like I get on YouTube and watch these people and a lot of them you don't see their whole their whole progress so you don't get to see them start from like the bottom and go to the top and I'm not going to say I started from the bottom because I had like hard-working parents that helped me get to the spot where I'm at now so without my parents truthfully I wouldn't be where I am I wouldn't have the opportunities that I would have now obviously like you can have opportunities and help along the way and still sell your bag like I'm sure all of y'all can name somebody that had almost handouts or a lot of help along the way and still sold their bag or still didn't do what they needed to do and that's just the unfortunalities of life but that should be able to inspire and motivate you boys because 99% of people, probably 90%, we'll go with an even 90, like, these people don't want to get up out of bed and work and actually try to become anything, and through life, you have to get up and you have to grind and you got to try to become a better person through struggles and taking L's and losses, and 
a lot of the times a lot of people are going to start doing what they like and not get the results they want within like a week or two or a month or three months and give up and you lose 90 percent of people within six months like no one probably three months honestly and i get people that ask me all the time is like do you enjoy youtube do you like it and i'm not gonna lie like i it's the most thing i i love youtube more than anything and it's what i enjoy and it's allowed me to get opportunities that i never would have had without the camera i've met a lot of people just because they see me on video um i get inspired and i go somewhere and someone says what's up to me and i'm like what the heck i'm just like a regular person and that's kind of like my whole reason for trying to really start the youtube is the opportunities that come from it obviously i enjoy watching youtube and seeing people with nice things and the money is there so obviously like if you grind hard enough the money's there but the money's not going to be there until you get there you know what i'm saying and a lot of people think you're going to get on youtube and make six figures or like a couple grand a month and to be honest i've been doing youtube like almost three years probably now and um consistently maybe almost two and i'm only making like a hundred bucks a month and you know it's not that much and a lot of people are going to see that and work all that hard time and put a year into something to make a hundred bucks a month and just give up and i think that's why i keep going is because i realize how hard it is and i realize how much time and effort i put into this to get to that hundred bucks so like that hundred bucks a month is like the craziest thing for me and um i cherish that hundred bucks honestly i just let it go into a, a savings account and i don't even touch any of it but it's just cool to see something so little as making these videos and the opportunities and meeting people and being able to drive cars that i would never be able to drive just because they want to see their cars and video or they want to let me drive their car because they think it's cool or i don't know and just get my honest reaction and without these cameras it would probably never be possible and I'm just truthfully somebody that started with like no help, nobody around me. I'm in a small city. I live in South Carolina, Spartanburg, South Carolina, and like we don't see cool cars. Like I don't think I saw my first Rolls Royce or Lambo until I was like probably 13, 14, or 15. Like we just don't have that where I'm at. So the only places I would see that was on vacation, and I didn't really go on vacations like that until. I got a little bit older, 14, 15, when you start going somewhere that like Florida and they got nice cars and they're like everywhere and you're like, holy crap, it's obtainable. And the whole thing about um, that is like a lot of people where I'm from are like very closed minded and sometimes that may be a struggle for y'all boys. Like if y'all come from somewhere that's not like California or where you got a lot of people recording like there's truly like, I'm probably one of the only people like I bet if I was to walk in my 50 mile radius right now, there's probably nobody vlogging like me. You know what I'm saying? And that's where I think y'all, the internet kind of makes y'all not want to do this stuff because you see, you get on your phone and everything you see is somebody recording somebody with a bunch of followers. And that's just kind of how the algorithm works. And it's like, oh, dang, this dude's got this many followers. That's going to take forever. But everybody does not you don't just spawn with that many followers and reach. Like, you got to grind it from zero. It's like real life, but on the internet. Like, you got to grind and get to the top. And it's going to take time. And you're going to piss people off. And people aren't going to like it. And people are going to try to get you to stop. And that just is what it is. But you got to keep going if it's something truly you want. And you got to learn how to grow. And I didn't pick up this camera first talking like this. I didn't pick up this camera making content like this. Like it's taken, I've, from as long as I can remember, like middle school, got a GoPro and was trying to make videos at trampoline parks with my homies, with everything, trying to get my first car and putting stuff on and recording it. And all these videos that I made and just never dropped because I was too embarrassed. And like the progress of where from then to now would be probably crazy. And y'all y'all boys are gonna see uh, in these videos coming up, I got my little brother in them and He's inspired by me by, he wants to make, he made his own YouTube channel and he's posted a couple videos and y'all boys go check that out too. Um, it's crazy. Like the youth, uh, the youth really looks up to us and the youth really thinks these YouTubers are like the new celebrities. So it's that kind of time where I think if you don't get on YouTube around now and you're my age, it's your options never are going to run out, but I think right now is like a very good growing point. All the kids under us grew up on these iPads and they're watching YouTube and they get older and start getting into cars or they want to, like, it's not like TV anymore. Like, the new TV is what you provide on camera. Literally, look at this. I know y'all probably can't see it, but 
there's a whole airplane that's just cool because like where i'm from I'm, I'm not used to seeing that so this whole weekend is sometimes you need to get away and see that the world is a lot bigger than where you're at and um you know i was sitting back at home in spartanburg and it's hard to think that you can be successful or ever look out your window and see the water like that because it's very close-minded like i'm saying a lot of people six figures is like a millionaire and then you got people in miami and like 10 mil is like six figures to them you know what i mean so it's it's crazy and everything's just perception of where you're at and i come from a small place to where a lot of people like i'm embarrassed and i'm shy and i'm trying to grow and get more comfortable with this camera and walking around in public and just like adapting because you can't become somebody who you're not and it takes time you gotta you know you can't just wake up and be who you want to be it takes time you got to grow into it so like y'all are just now seeing my videos where i'm kind of getting more comfortable recording and trying to block out the perception of what people believe on me you know what i mean and uh it's it's hard sometimes it's there's going to be days where you do better and i advise everybody to just find a group of people or find one homie bro we'll make it 90 percent easier if you have one homie that just locks in records with you or it doesn't judge you when you pull out the camera or doesn't care what you're saying because like it's hard it's different people don't understand it and it is kind of different to go out in public and try to motivational speak like this or you know do something like that but just wait till you get time alone practice you're not going to be perfect and i know this video is kind of all over the place and i got y'all boys with the title of like zl1 update or something just to make y'all listen to this because y'all won't watch it if i title it something to get y'all to believe in yourself but um that's just the internet you know people got short attention spans but for everybody that truly is here to that wants to do good in life just know it's possible give yourself four years that's why people go to school four years to get a degree by then you should learn enough and you you know like the real money nowadays isn't really from that you can make just as much and more being on these cameras you just got to give yourself the couple years bro just keep believing in yourself keep recording progress don't get mad at yourself when your videos don't do good try not to watch the numbers boys and i promise you you're gonna be able to make it but um i'm gonna probably get up with y'all this is a quick little 20 minute video i gotta get down to the beach because i i kind of wait for everybody to get out and i blame it on like i gotta shave my face and i did shave my face but um i just I, there's a bunch of people here and i get embarrassed and i'm not gonna go sit in this room and be overheard or something because it's gonna block my mental and you got to learn yourself that's like i've learned through youtube um and all the times i've recorded and everything i'm doing that you just got to find a space where you're mentally clear you're not thinking as hard you're not worried about other people and for me it's by myself a lot of the times and um until the people around you grow more comfortable and you get more comfortable with your out surroundings and um that's just me you may be different you may be able to do this and have somebody sit right beside you and that's to where i hope to get in my life and if that is you start this youtube stuff it won't be nothing for you um but just remember boys perception is all on what you think of yourself everybody's just caught up in what they're doing in their life and everybody's just worried about them don't think so hard because if someone is making fun of you or talks about you and they see you recording by the time you get to your destination they already forgot by the time they wake up and go to sleep they already forgot so everybody's so worried and caught up in how their life is and the details in their life and you got to remember that not everybody's worried about you just think positive about yourself give yourself a outlook on life that everything can happen if you put time and consistency and that's truly the only way you can get anywhere is if you stay consistent life's not going to disrespect you and not allow you to become who you want to be if you truly put time and effort and try to grow and become a better person you know what i mean life isn't that unfair just be strong get through your surroundings if you don't got money if you don't got the cars or you don't got what you want to do to be who you want to be and record just start now there's always somebody that is sitting in the same boots as you that wants to see how you did it like if you got nothing and you want a bugatti bro record you at nothing talk tell the struggle tell them how it is tell them that you're sad tell them that it's hard tell them you don't know what you're doing be 100 percent transparent and i promise you it'll grow into the person you want to become and people will respect that and they'll see through it and if you pretend to be somebody eventually they'll catch up to you and like you hit a million views being somebody you're not and you get out in public and they realize that's not even you don't look like a goofy bro just figure out how to become yourself be happy be respectful 
show love, just be yourself truthfully. So that way when you do blow up and you do get the money, you don't got to change for nothing. Do this for you, figure out what you love and life is going to be good. Child. I'm going to mess with y'all boys. I'm going to get up out to the beach because it's my last day on vacation. So I'm going to pick up with y'all boys in the next video. I'm sorry again that the content isn't as lit as it can be. But the Z is back. Hopefully by the time I get back, the Z will be close to getting together and give y'all boys an update. And yeah, it's Bailey. Don't forget it. Scrub that like button. Scrub that sub button. I'm going to mess with y'all boys in the next one, man. Thank <laughs> you.